Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you the new feature that just uh, was released this week in Public Preview. Um, it's the ability to add a site configuration to a regular Power Platform solution and then once it's part of that solution be able to move your Power Pages site configuration from one environment to another. How cool is that? This has been something we've been waiting for for a long, long time it's really going to move these whole ALM procedures forward. Not to say that couldn't have been done before. Of course, we had the XRM Toolbox Portal Records Mover, which is a great tool for moving portal configuration as well as the PAC CLI and of course the data configuration migration tool. These work really well, but the, the ability to add PowerPages sites to solutions is just sort of next level and it's just going to make it so much more easier to move things. The other thing I want to point out as well, this is going to require the enhanced data model and beyond just being a prerequisite for solution management in Power Pages, the enhanced data model is also going to make things a lot more efficient moving forward. First off, provisioning sites is going to get down to just a couple minutes as opposed to many minutes like we've been used to. So that's pretty cool to be able to get a site up and running pretty quickly. The other thing too, it's going to reduce your footprint in terms of the number of tables that you're going to see in Dataverse that hold Power Pages configuration. That's a complaint I've heard before people saying it takes like there's 60 custom tables. Moving forward, there's going to be I think three or four tables uh, maybe one or two more but something that's going to be very manageable um, for the public preview you actually still need to enable and install these tables but um, eventually this is just going to be part of core dataverse so um, before we dive in let's take a look at a couple events and other things coming up that I want to let you know about and then we're going to dive in to this feature and we're going to go through it all today so I just want to tell you about a conference coming up, the European Power Platform Conference that's coming up on June 20th to 22nd in Dublin, Ireland. I have a session there. It's Crash Course in Power Pages, where I walk you through the basics of getting a Power Page spun up and maybe a few other things that we found out along the way. Um, Definitely would love to meet you there and be happy to answer any questions you have and meet you in person. And of course, if you've not registered yet, be sure to use the discount code BOOST, B-O-O-S-T, that gets you 10% off uh, the registration fee. So totally worth it. Liking, looking forward to seeing you in Dublin. And if you can't make it to Dublin, then of course, be excited to see you actually in Copenhagen in Denmark in September. And there we have some pre-day workshops. Um, a lot of great folks in the community are doing pre-day workshops. Um, I'm actually doing a workshop on building powerful websites using Power Pages where um, I will kind of go through a lot of what I do on these videos, but also some other stuff as well. And it's a little bit of a deep dive in not only building a power page site sort of from ground up, but diving into some of those other cases and things that you might run into projects and how to attack those, address those, also how to plan out your power pages project and, you know, move it uh, through the LM process and go lives and things like that. So definitely worthwhile, a great workshop, be very uh, happy to see you folks there. And again, I could dive in, answer questions and help you out with your own projects. I'd be excited to learn what you're working on. And also I'd like to invite you to listen, like, and subscribe to the Power Platform Boost podcast, where every two weeks, Elika Akrabak and myself, we go through all the news and exciting things that are happening in the world of the Power Platform and Microsoft technologies. Plus, we also begin to dive in and chat a little bit about uh, some certain new things or some other features or the community around the Power Platform. So definitely check out our podcast very much again. Looking forward to hearing your feedback and what would you like to hear in our podcast? Uh, definitely let us know. All right, so let's actually get into it right now. So I'm in the Power Platform Admin Center and I'm taking a look at one of my environments. So in order to use solution management in your Power Pages site, you're first going to need to switch to the enhanced data model. And again, this is preview, so do this only on a developer site or a sandbox site. Do not do this on production, uh, at least not yet anyway. And chances are when this actually rolls out to GA, this is something you won't have to do. But for the public preview, this is something, and this will take a little bit to go through. What it's doing, it's, it is loading some new Power Pages specific solutions. Again, when this goes GA, this is probably going to be automatic. And that also means you won't have to update these solutions manually. And that is something that you currently have to do today with the standard model. Uh, so once we have that done into our environment, let's uh, pop over into our Power Pages homepage. And here we're going to create a site. Now, not all the sites are configured for the new enhanced data model. All the starter layouts are in the blank template is 
Um, so for today, I'm just going to choose the starter layout, which I know is one of the templates that will use the enhanced data model. This process has not changed at all. You can still pick your site, your web address, you pick your language, and then basically you kick that off. Now what has changed, because it is using the new enhanced data model, it is going to move a lot quicker now. Uh, I did speed up the video a little bit, but this only took, this probably took maybe three or four minutes where normally it would take about 45. So I'm just going to dive in because this is something you're going to want to check. So go into the setup workspace and you'll now see that there's a tag there called data model. So let's make sure that you see that and that it is enhanced. If it's not enhanced, it would just show up as standard. You can actually have both standard and enhanced sites on an environment, but for now we want to make sure that's standard and now Let's just kind of make some changes, uh, change a few things around in our Power Pages site. So there you see, I've created a site, I've added a few things. It doesn't look totally pretty yet. I probably need to do a bit more work on it, but you get the idea here. Now let's quickly dive into the portal management app, which I know a lot of you use to configure your, your websites. And we know we go into that, click in the ellipse, we click on portal management, but notice now it says power pages management. So it is a new tool, but it looks and acts exactly the same as the portals management app. It's just using the new data model. So we're going to go back to our homepage now. And we're going to notice now we have on our side panel, we have solutions here very much like the rest of the power platform, like flow and power apps here. I'm going to create a brand new solution. I quickly go through that because um, I'm pretty quick at this new publisher. And I'm going to go into that new solution here. And then very much like we would work in power apps when we're adding other tables, views, and things like that, I'm going to add existing and I'm going to add my site to that solution. So this is a little bit different as opposed to creating the site within the solution. We create it the normal way, but then we add that. And now it adds all of those components, all our pages and all our other assets into our solution. So how cool is that? Now, a thing I wanted to point out is because this works a little bit differently, if we were to go back in and add some new assets like here, I'm going to create a brand new page and you know add a list to it and that kind of fun stuff. I'm going to have to go back into my solution afterwards and I'm going to have to add those components. And that's pretty straightforward. I'm going to go in and I can go into the site components uh, node in my solution and go on to the menu. And again, we don't necessarily see those assets there automatically. Um, taking a look through that new page I added, it's not there yet. So I'm going to go into the site. I'm going to go add existing. And here I'm going to go into more and we go into other. And finally, we're going to look, scroll down and we're going to see site components or site component. And we see these are the new things I've just added to my site. So I'm going to have to remember each time to add those to the solution. So just something you're going to be need to be aware of that if you're doing stuff, you're going to have to add those to the solution manually right now. Um, I'm not sure what the future is for that. Or the other way to do that again is picking the site going advanced and adding required objects. So that makes sure that you don't miss anything adding that to your solution. So now I've popped over to my destination environment and here's where I'm going to have to create a site. So if you don't have a site in your destination, you will have to go through the process to provision a site. This is going to, you know, pull in the, the solutions and metadata, but also more importantly, create that website that's going to be hosted on Azure. And again, because we are using the new enhanced data model, this should go fairly quickly. So now we have that site there. It doesn't necessarily even need to be the same template. I just use the blank template. Again, I'm going to go into my details of this particular site, which is going to take me directly to the setup workspace. And I'm going to make sure that it is also using the enhanced data model. Currently, there's no way to convert from a standard to enhanced, but that will be coming fairly soon. I'm back into my source environment now. I'm going to export my solution. Again, it's going through the regular solution process. I'm going to publish that. We should run the, uh, the checker here. I'm a little bit lazy today. I'm going to hit next. Make this a managed. Um, not going to get into the managed unmanaged debate. And it's going to export. 
So I've exported and downloaded that site. And of course, you could add this to your Power Platform pipelines or to your Azure Power Platform procedures as well to move that solution. And now I'm in the destination environment. I'm gonna again, pretty much the same process we would for Power Apps. I'm gonna to go to the solution, I'm gonna choose the import, gonna find that. And we're now going to import the solution. Make sure everything's cool here. And it's gonna import the solution the same as you would if this was Power Apps. And after a few minutes, the solution will be imported. All good here. And because it's managed, we don't need to worry about publishing that. However, if you did bring over the unmanaged, you would need to publish it. We're gonna go into the home page, and you might think that you're gonna see your site here, but it's not going to be. That's why we had to create that site or um, that framework earlier. So your site won't automatically appear here. So what we're gonna to need to do is go into the admin center, and we can go directly from our Power Pages homepage. And that's going to bring up the Power Platform Admin Center uh, for that particular site. And then here we just click on Edit in our site details. And then we're going to go in and we're gonna swap out those website records. So it's actually now that we see our imported website there, and we're going to use that host that was created and we're gonna to point to our new portal, or sorry, our website metadata that we brought over. Um, here in the home page, it still looks the same, but let's actually preview, or actually, sorry, we're gonna go in and edit that site and take a look at if it's been brought over everything. Now it did not quite bring over that image, but you see it did bring over everything else. Again, this is preview. There might be a little hiccup here and there. Probably that image was maybe too big and that might've been an issue. Uh, I'll report that, but um, definitely check out how you can move solutions over from one environment to another using this new feature and be sure to provide feedback. And this to me is a game changer in terms of the ALM process for Power Pages. Thanks for tuning in and look forward to the next video.